Uh, yeah, we are on. Okay. Uh, this is Talking In Stations, breaking news. We're going to be talking about the very unexpected removal of Brisk Ball from the CSM uh, and actually banned from the game as well. His accounts, apparently, uh, there was um, some information that passed from Brisk to a courtmate, and that information made it to another player, which used it for illicit actions. And I don't know what that means. Uh, and that was traced back to Brisk and causing a, a series of events, him getting banned and um, removed from CSM. So that is what we're going to discuss today, but also tomorrow in a closed session with Brisk and uh, Dirk will have uh, uh, try to get more information and kind of compile all the information. This is essentially a public reaction stream uh, because it is, is very shocking, uh, such a high profile CSM member um, completely uh, uh, strange turn of events. So we'll try to talk to everybody that has an opinion, an informed opinion about this sort of thing. We'll try to get Brisk in here as well. He's getting a headset on at the moment. Yeah, obviously he's, uh, he's uh, you know, because he works full time and all that kind of stuff, he's uh, only finding out. Um, and he's obviously, you know, getting himself into a position where he can actually be on a stream and talk to people. So, yeah. Yeah, well, he, here he is. Uh, Brisk, are you there? Hey, man, this How's must be a shock to you. Uh, it is. It's a it's a pretty considerable shock, and uh, I've been going back through all of my private messages with friends and conversations and and information, and uh, I am at a complete loss as to what CCP is talking about in regards to leaked information that was then monetized by someone in the game. Um, I mean, look. Uh, let, let me let me make a brief statement. Yeah, and go sure. Questions. Um, I have gone over. All of the conversations that I've had with people, I've looked at uh, specifically the conversations with one of the other people that I know was banned. Um, I have not seen anything in there that could possibly be considered an NDA breach, especially nothing that would be considered you know, that would be of a specific, specific specificity that would allow uh, someone to take what was what was or was not said and and monetize it in the game. So I am not, I'm not at all sure what they're talking about. I've talked to a number of the other CSM members who are also unaware of what's going on and they're not sure what's, what's happening. Um, so, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I did, I've done nothing wrong. I've not received any information from CCP as to what they are claiming that I did, what information that I am being told, being accused of having leaked. Um, I find that very frustrating. Uh, the first inkling that I got that this was even happening was an email from uh, the GMs this morning saying I was banned. Uh, it didn't even have my name in it, so I thought it was a troll. Uh, that type of thing has happened before. Um, so I was not, I, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. I've reached out to, to Falcon uh, and Dopamine uh, and have not yet heard back from them. Uh, I have talked to the other person that was banned, and we both were going over potential issues uh, of what could this be about. And, and unfortunately, he has some uh, family stuff going on right now, so he's in as much shock as I am. Uh, and we still don't know who the third person is. So I think at this point, you know, what I will say, and I'll answer questions to the best of my ability, given the fact that I have no information, uh, but I categorically deny any wrongdoing. I have not leaked any information that could have been monetized in the game. I have not leaked any NDA material. I have kept everything that I've been told by CCP in the strictest confidence. Uh, and I am not sure what they're talking about. And I would like to know uh, because uh, it, it's, it's, this is very damaging to my personal reputation, uh, to my professional reputation. And the fact that I've not received any kind of information as to what the charges are, or, or even a chance to explain what may or may not be uh, uh, explainable uh, is, is frustrating to me. There's been zero due process here. Uh, now I am aware that in the past they have said, and, and having been on the other side and seen what has happened in, in past bans for CSM members for NDA violations, I'm, I'm rather surprised uh, that there has not even been a conversation with me, uh, with anybody in, 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 a, in, in CCP at all. So I'm kind of frustrated, uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. Until I know more, 
I'm just simply going to deny doing anything wrong because that's as far as I know I have not. So I'll be interested to hear what they have to say. All right. Um, so we'll we'll turn this into a bit of an ask me anything. You can, of course, you know, uh, uh, not answer if you don't want to, but uh, we'll go ahead and let the uh, TIS public talk to you. And I just have, I'll start off with one question. Um, is there room for a misunderstanding here, you think? I think it's possible. Um, I know that that the CSM we had we had some conversations in Iceland uh, about uh, conversations that I had had with a, with another alliance member that was not banned uh, that everybody was a little concerned about, but that did not involve any NDA information. So I don't know what else this possibly could be about. Uh, I've gone back through and looked at my my direct messages on Discord. Uh, and I haven't seen anything that would lead me to believe that I, I inadvertently, even inadvertently, gave out information that I should not have. So until I get some more information from CCP at this point, I, I can't say any more than I just don't know. Um, but I'm confident that I did not do anything wrong. Um, and one more question. How did you find out? Let me, let me ban Doom and Chinchilla right here. No, what, what I... I, I, like I said, this morning I got an email, a GM uh, email saying that I'd been removed from the CSM and banned for violating the NDA. That was the extent of the information that I received uh, from CCP. Uh, I have was removed from our internal communication system. My email, my CSM email was shut off, and, and then I read the devlog, and I saw, uh, you know, the, the charge that... Um, I was sharing confidential information with a member of my alliance that was later used by another alliance member to conduct illicit in-game transactions. I have no idea what that means. Um, and I know I know one other player, Dark Shines, who was our capital uh, uh, FC, has been given a one-year ban. He's not aware of what the issue is uh, or, or what he, he has supposedly said. Uh, and the claim that illicit assets in this game from the incident have been confiscated, we don't know what that's about either. So at the end of the day, I have no idea what this is. And I, it says they're saying to be fully transparent, conduct was brought by the CSM themselves. I've talked to other CSM members and so far, I'm, I'm not aware of who, who brought the, this to anybody's attention. So I don't, I don't know what this is about. I really don't. Uh, it's frustrating to me. Uh, you know, I've put my heart and soul in the game for the last two years, uh, and I've worked very hard on behalf of the players to represent their issues to CCP. Uh, and I know some folks don't like me because I'm blunt and I'm honest and maybe I wasn't the, the, as much of an expert as other players were about certain aspects of the game, but I've always done my best and tried hard. So I, I really would like to know what this is about. And, uh, and if it is a, a, a mistake or some kind of a, a, of a misunderstanding, I'd like to get it resolved as quickly as possible. Yeah, I think it's a shock to a lot of people. This is uh, now what we're expecting. Um, all right, if you guys have some questions or have some insight, we have some ex-CSM members here. There, uh, we have uh, uh, people who are on the CSM. Okay, one more question. Um, they don't. They divulged uh, just quickly. Like they they did divulge uh, to some degree. Um, possibly one of the only kind of hints as to what could have been uh like hints as to where you know the reasons for it in some way shape or form and that is to do with um electronic devices in, at the csm minute csm meetings so i, I don't know See, that, that that's thing. the thing that i find the most interesting because you know during during the the during the csm i was taking notes and as I always do, I do during all the meetings uh, to make sure I remember what I said uh, and what others said so that I can go back and help correct the minutes later. Uh, and then there were situations where I was talking to people, like asking specific questions to my colleagues uh, to get, have them present me information that I could present to CCP about issues that they had asked about. Um, but in no situation did I ever transmit any information about what was being said in the room uh, by CCP to us to anybody else. Uh, the one situation like I alluded to before was a conversation uh, between me and one of our my alliance mates who asked me to present an idea, and I did. Uh, and 
and that was it. Other than that, I, I don't know what else they're talking about in terms of, of, of stuff at the, at the meetings. And frankly, I think that's a very bad idea for them to do because having the ability to have your notes and communicate with people to ask questions about things that they've asked you to do in the past uh, in the meetings, I think is pretty important. Um, but I'm not sure. I, I, I honestly, I really can't tell you what it is that that uh, could have been said that I could have passed on that would suddenly be monetized in a way that would that would make it clear that there was some kind of a leak. So I don't I don't know what I really I really just don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can get some more information because at this point it's frustrating to me that uh, you know I'm, I'm watching the. Uh, the the comments come in on the uh, on the, on the Reddit uh, post, and uh, and people are starting to put nasty stuff up on my uh, my old campaign video. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and hopefully I'll, I'll get some more information. But it's uh, to me, it seems like a lot of this is is circumstantial uh, and, yeah. and bad timing on the part of one of our alliance members who decided to sell something, uh, and and perhaps uh, the timing looked odd to CCP. But I don't know what else to say at this point. Yeah, I, I wanted to say specifically with regards to uh, people like, you know, throwing up theories and stuff. Um, the unfortunate thing of this is there's very little information about uh, as to what as to the whys and the, you know, and the, you know, the evidence as to, you know, uh, why CCP, you know, did the, you know, took the actions that they did. Um, and in in that kind of vacuum of information, people will obviously be jumping to conclusions and be you know uh coming up with uh, uh ways to explain certain things um that obviously cannot be disproved and cannot be actually uh, like fully proved so uh yeah that's the unfortunate thing about this right now is the fact that like there's so little information about that like we don't actually have an absolute way of being able to say you know point and say you know that's wrong that's right you know that kind of thing so um well, yeah. look, look, I'm getting I'm getting some patients from folks right who want me to who are asking me to to clarify something. Look, I, I want to make it clear. I have never, to my knowledge, leaked any NDA material, any information that a CCP dev has presented to the CSM in confidence to any other players. That is what I'm saying right now. I have never done that, and the charge according to the dev blog, was that I leaked confidential information that CCP presented to another Alliance member who then proceeded to either pass that information on or acted on it himself and in a way to make money in game, insider trading. I categorically deny that I ever did that. So I don't know what these charges are, or what they're claiming that I did, and I would like to know. So I, at this point, I mean, I, frankly, you know, I, I'm just going to shut up now because until I, I know what the charges are, I can't sit here and refute things that may or may not have happened because I don't know what they're accusing me of. Uh, but I will say this, that I'm taking this seriously. I'm going to do everything in my power to fight it. I'm hoping that this doesn't have to go any farther. But the reality is, if you look right now, the fact I've not had a chance to have any, any say or, or at least even be presented with the charges against me, I've had no chance to explain whatever they think they see that that looks damning which i don't believe it is because it couldn't be because i haven't done anything uh and all this information is out there uh in the public domain before there's been any chance to even discuss it so as far as i'm concerned um as again i categorically deny leaking any nda information that was presented to me by a ccp dev uh about changes of the game and i am uh going to do whatever i can to try to clear my name do you think um, maybe this isn't for uh, risk necessarily? Maybe uh, Bob Munn, who is on CSM, or even Carneros, who knows about game development and stuff. Do do player petitions work in the situation where uh, something so dramatic has happened, such a say a good player is uh, uh, under a secret indictment, basically? When I worked at CCP, a uh, standard operating procedure was not to say any detail about what they found in their investigation. However, they read every petition, absolutely every one of them. And they all went at least to the head of 
uh, customer service uh, and, and to the uh, counterintelligence team. They didn't necessarily all go to Hilmar. He'd get a praises, but he but um, they all got read and, and thoughtfully considered. Um, so those, but is that a petition or is that uh, players uh, saying, hey, you need to check this out, I'm innocent? I'm wondering if there's any. It depends where they put it. If it were, uh, petitions all go to CCP, they get read. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, if, if you, yeah, if you submit a petition. Now, if you just post on Reddit, random people will see it and that, that's not quite the same. If you post on the forums, the uh, uh, community management team will see it. And if there's something uh, exceptional or important, those get collected by them and brought to uh, appropriate parts of the company. So the, the way to deal with this sort of a thing to uh, uh, is to write them in the to basically write them in their through their system, right? Not to not to raise hell outside of the system. Well, one one option is you know, Briss can drop Falcon an email outside a game uh, and might be able to learn something. I don't I don't know. I have done that. I've not heard back yet. Yeah. Do they take time to like? Wait, do they respond right away? Or do they take time to like respond? To any, anybody who's been through this? In my experience, it depended on what was going on. Uh, there were cases where, uh, you know, they had to get up and go talk to other people and other parts of the company and wait between meetings and stuff. But and then there, are, you know, other times that they're all in the chat room together and can uh, compare notes immediately. It, it depends. So we've seen this before with Ankh uh, and Gorga. Well, he was removed for inactivity. Uh, Manfred Sidious more recently. And then Matani was removed for other reasons. Is that all the uh, CSM that have been removed? There was a pretty high profile one. I can't remember. Oh, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, Noob Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Noob Man. That's the one. Okay, yeah. I just found out who the third person that was uh, was removed is, uh, or who was banned. This is starting to make a little bit more sense, but it's still <laughs> it's still uh, frustrating to me. So, yeah. and who is that third person? I'm going to ask him if I can release the name. I, I don't know if I can release the name. All right, prudent. Um, you said it's making a little more sense. <laughs> Are you starting to see the possibility that it, you could have inadvertently done something? No, I, I know, I know what. Uh, no, there's there, there is no chance whatsoever. Uh, assuming that, that that at least what it looks like to me now is is apparently happened that this is uh, that this was an NDA breach. Um, like I said, and I, I've been a hundred percent. Uh, in my belief that I have not leaked any NDA information to any members of my alliance, uh, and I stand by that uh, statement. Uh, the two people that that were banned, I can understand why there is the claim now, but at the same time, uh, I know that 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 this is that this didn't happen, and that this is clearly, in my opinion, a misunderstanding. So. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get a chance to talk to Paul or talk to, to Camille uh, and, and, and resolve this. Uh, but it's frustrating to me that this was done in this way and that there was no conversations had. So uh, I'm, I'm really, really kind of annoyed. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm moving to a quieter area. I'm actually at work. I was gonna race home and stream this live, but I decided to do it uh, from my office. But there's a party next door. There's a, there's a degree of ghetto-ness with uh, this particular uh, <laughs> breaking <laughs> news segment. 
Well, this is uh, completely unprecedented. Well, I, I, it's frustrating that that it, uh, I had to be the one to go through <laughs> through this, but uh, hopefully, you know, we can shine some light here. Uh, this is this is pretty frustrating, and uh, uh, I don't know what else to say at this point, other than than uh, mm -hmm. the damage to my reputation has been pretty considerable, and uh, I'm going to be looking at all my options. Well, and, and this is not. Um... This, this this is not even just restricted to e-visit. It's because, not, and and that's and that's yeah. why. And guys, and you know, uh, I, I, at this point, I need to to go and, and and take care of some stuff. So I'm gonna have to bow out here. Uh, but like I said before, you know, I, I deny that I ever leaked any information that was passed by CCP Dev to me to anybody outside of the CSM. Uh, and I'm gonna fight this as hard as I possibly can. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll hopefully get a chance to talk to you tomorrow uh, when there's more information um, available. Thanks, Brisk, for coming by. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Okay, any reactions? So my concern is like, like I mean, I know that I'm speaking sort of partially on behalf of, you know, um, you know, with a with a hat on that says in it and that in to some degree, but uh, you know we have seen uh, CSM ban people for uh, outside game stuff um, with no real with no absolute one hundred percent tangible kind of evidence. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you can get evidence to a point, uh, but you know we have seen with like say uh, the bonus room. Um, kind of scandal and stuff that people get banned uh, can get banned uh, for doing things out of game um, most of the time when CCP ban stuff like uh, they tend to use uh, information that they have in house because they can 100% guarantee that that is legit stuff that hasn't been tampered with screwed with or potentially in any way faked but uh conjecture of course how about a quick 30 second summary for what's going on tldr um csm brisk has been removed from the csm uh due to uh accused uh well not accused due to ccp finding out some illegitimate conversations between alliance members that have led to profiteering via confidential information that's the reason behind the ban so csm brisk has lost his accounts and is banned from the game permanently the two other players involved have also received a one-year ban in relation to the action that's the tldr my personal reaction to this is it's okay so there's a conversation that's gone on that somewhere something was said that perhaps may have been it's there's a lot of who is what is who said what it's it's a little bit shady in my opinion in terms of there's not much being given to us to go right he was banned because he said something to someone that potentially could have made money off it in-game money. Yeah, give, give, give me a little bit more concrete information for, you know, we, we, you know, we torpedo him because, you know, I'm, I, it just comes across to me as, as we are the overlords. We have seen something we aren't particularly happy. So here's the massive ban hammer and you cannot argue against it. You know, if, if this has gone on from way it's portrayed so far that CSM Brisk found out via an email via a gm after this dev blog went out that's a bit of a low blow like this guy hasn't even had a chance to defend himself or you know make well, his case it's just bang there's your band have fun yeah we don't know how um I, we don't know the timing of him finding out but uh so we we can't make things up um no, but that's what I'm saying is, is this is what we've seen of it so far. It's been a case of he hasn't been made aware. He isn't aware of what's going on. 
but it's out in the public that he's been banned, removed because of said reason of something. That's actually pretty standard procedure though for CCP. They always ban before introducing you uh, with what happens. Look at all the. So guilty but before proven innocent is there? If you look at the well, past, yeah. Well, the thing is, this isn't like this isn't a sort of a government as such. This is you know CCP's business, you know. Um, but the other kind of thing is like, I completely understand them, you know, taking action straight away in terms of banning people if they know that the evidence that they have is 100% foolproof and, you know, they can absolutely guarantee the viability of the, the evidence that they have. If the viability is something that they can't 100% prove, then, like, I kind of feel like we should be, like, given more information and, you know, whether that is the case or not. But, I don't well, know. The, the thing is, I've never seen one of these reversed, especially one this high profile. I, I have. Have you? Yeah. Uh, during the early gambling days, like during the, that whole crisis, there was somebody who got banned, and then that ban got reversed. And then it came back later, but there was... I've seen reversals to these kinds of actions. Wasn't there something rarely. also done about the T20 as well, when the Tech 2 market was going on? There was something around there as well. No one talks about T20. I know, but I know some something like this happened around then as well. So this isn't the case of this is the first time I've ever seen something like this happen. It has oh. happened before, but no, the handling of the situations, you know. No, I mean, this exactly what happened in 2015 or 16 when the CSM member was accused of leaking things right after eVegas and was removed. But we're talking about whether or not one of them has been reversed. Reversed, I would, yeah. I would suggest that, given the fact that this happened, I would say at least some sort of internal justification has been established. The idea that they would just take an action before uh, doing some sort of investigation seems pretty uh, short-sighted. That being said, it will be interesting to see how like the review of this goes, because I, we have seen like more information come out later. It makes sense to me that they would take an action first, given the fact that this is a video game and it's a the accusation is that insider information was being used to warp or cheat within the video game, in which case you want to stop that as soon as possible and then hash out what is really going on. I think also, too, maybe the fact that it that came from the other CSM members had something to do with the way they've acted, like, as opposed to coming from another source. That stands out to me quite a bit. Um, oh, did, for a they lot actually, of did they say that in the doc? Yes, yeah. it says full disclosure, this came from the CSM members. Um, wow. But they don't say yeah. who it is or what it is, but it definitely, that brings up a lot of questions in my head because the CSM members are not necessarily a monolith and also not necessarily in alignment with one another. So, I don't know. The so other question... Is... The other question I have over as well is, is the way they've, they've worded it is that the misconduct was brought to, brought to us by the CSM themselves. Now, was that one member of the CSM or was that the CSM as a collective? Right. Clarity would be nice there. I think that will get out eventually, I think. Because, um, I don't know, that's the kind of thing that will leak out because it's, uh, it's irresistible to to hold that if you're the guy that did it. Because kind of. yeah, this is like a... Yes, and members will have pressure to... Uh, discuss it, even if CCP doesn't make an official announcement as to who it was. Yeah. Especially as we move into a CSM voting period, right? And even, now anyone who's going to try to go for re-election is definitely going to be uh, questioned about this circumstance. Yeah. Are you are you the one that put the knife into your comrade? <laughs> Brisk. What a what an interesting turn of events. And and that kind of explains. I think CCP, um, you know, monitors things, but when things are brought to their attention, they cannot be ignored. And if they violate rules, they cannot be ignored. Uh, and uh, action must be taken regardless of who it is. And, and uh, this, that's one of those situations in their hands were probably forced. I think that colors this whole thing uh, a little bit differently than before. Uh, that said, I haven't seen anything this high profile ever be reversed, um, but uh, people have been removed. Many people have been removed, uh, I think at least five.
five or six. I read them off earlier, but in addition to that, there's, a, I think, a Darius Johnson, not the one, not DJ from Goons, but there was another Darius, and that's probably the T20 guy you're thinking of because that was about the same time um, for breaking NDA. The problem is, I think it goes a bit deeper this time. So transparent between it, for, especially for Brisk, who who played a lot with uh, his actual political um, uh, surroundings and the game and uh, had no problem sharing that with his real life friends that he was uh, real life friends and colleagues that you know he was doing this thing in video games like he's very transparent about the game so he's very proud of it and so it's you know how do you say that to your friends you, oh yeah I've been kicked out of that game for leaking secrets I mean that that impugns his character in a virtual world, which reflects onto the real world because he's in the business of trust. So I think it's a really, really serious problem for him. Yeah, for him, it's a really serious problem. Like, uh, undeniably, yeah. to be completely honest. I... This this definitely isn't like just banning a player. This this has got, you know, he's a politician. This is what he does for a living. He relies on people's trust to, you know, do his work. Yeah. Something like this may be, you know, to, to another player wouldn't be anywhere near as damning or damaging um, to their, you know, ability to lead life like this. This could, you know, result in massive problems for him going forward. What's interesting to me is just the the sheer number of questions surrounding the circumstances of this, because so Brisk would have had to have inside information, which is fine, shared it with somebody else had that person share it with somebody else and then have that person use that information somehow to exploit the situation to make ISK, then another CSM member will have would have to know that this happened and then report it and there would have to be enough evidence for them to be able to pin down that this happened with intent or at least really did happen, not just like a, a, a different kind of lucky random market manipulation or something like that. So uh, the, I guess I'm interested in the circumstances, not necessarily like in a, a sculptory versus punitive sort of way, but almost like what really happened? What is even the accusation here um, that I still have a lot of questions about? Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I'd like to uh, I'd like to confront something that uh, a few people have said in chat as well, though. Um, who basically, you know, tout the line of like, oh yeah, to politicians and trust, you know, kind of thing. Um, the thing about politicians is because they're a public, you know, because they're 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 in public office, their like life is completely scrutinized, like all the time. And the funny thing is, um, with the media, nobody wants to, you know, buy a newspaper or, you know, sort of spend money in any way, shape, or form reading, you know. Uh, news stories about how a politician, you know, this politician didn't do anything, you know, morally or, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, criminally wrong in any way, shape or form this, you know, this week. Like it doesn't, it, that doesn't make stories that people want to buy. So quite clearly and quite obviously, you know, when you hear about politicians, most of the time you hear about politicians when they do something dumb or do something, you know, scandalous in some way, shape or form. So, you know, just be mindful of the fact that, you know, when you talk about politicians and you kind of do the whole kind of like, oh, politicians and trust, you know, you know, um, just understand the fact that no one ever, no, no politician ever gets, uh, you know, mentioned in the news for stuff that they do, that they do well. But yeah. I digress. All right. Okay. Well, we should probably wrap it up soon. Since, uh, there's um, not much to discuss because there's not much information out there, but we, we did manage to, um, everybody up to speed on what's happened. And we'll uh, have a chill stream tomorrow morning. And we'll talk about this and other things too. I want to look at Plex. Um, but of course, this eclipses everything and it will for a while. And uh, as more information is. Um, scrounged up because it will not be made available unless people volunteer it and even then it's uh, it'll be very little information i think ccp in these sorts of cases works um differently than 
uh, other things. They don't really need to explain anything to anyone, including the people who have been banned. That's always been their position. Uh, I think this is very, very, very important, though, and that's why we went live right away to get some uh, reaction, because uh, uh, a CSM member has been kicked. That uh, Brisk is particularly a big deal because he is uh, very, very public and did a lot of coverage and did a lot of represent representing players. Uh, and finally, uh, the, uh, the fact that a CSM member uh, uh, caused this to happen by turning, seeing something he thought was wrong, he or she, I guess he, because there's no women on it, um, thought was wrong, or is it uh, too? Because uh, now it, it, it can be interpreted as, uh, um, uh, you know, using... Um, as gameplay, you know, is this part of the gamer? So it's very interesting. So we'll we'll talk more about this. It's definitely a big big deal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, some people, some people will say like, you know, oh, how does this affect in it? Well, you know, uh, for one, Brisk, like, you know, he's always said uh, that you know he was never a, a high member of, uh, uh, you know, a high member or a, uh, a leadership member of uh, of the initiative he was just a line member so like you know bis brisk being banned uh, brisk being banned doesn't affect uh uh the initiative that much the other people who got banned for a year with him like you could make the claim that maybe that might affect you know the initiative but the initiative has you know a fair number of fcs and a fair number of you know uh like members of leadership to be able to you know carry on as normal so you know cool guy, there, there's not really that much this hasn't affected uh sort of the initiative as much as people may think you're in the initiative that. yeah yeah do we know who got banned uh I, there's been yeah. there's been some uh some you know pings about it um i think odell actually like uh posted on the evo forums about the fact that uh uh, one of our FCs did get uh, uh, did get one uh, did confirm that he got a, a, a year ban. But uh, you know, obviously yeah, as well in chat, there are people saying Pando and Dark Shines. Uh, so you know, Pando and whoa, Pando. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So my oh, this is huge. Which I is weird. It, it's kind of it. I mean, I I do find it, it kind of strange, but you know. Answers. Yeah, it raises more questions than answers. Um, but we have we have more competent FCs than just you know. If people think that like you know, uh, the initiative uh, is only made up of uh, you know Dark Shines and Pando leading fleets, then they are they'll be sadly mistaken. Okay, we have right. we have exceptional but FCs that I, are you know I'll, other than just them two. I'll give you that, but that's this is a this is taken this is. If that's true, that's gone to a whole nother level now because this is like a this is a huge, I wouldn't call it a takedown, but it's a huge collapse. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say so. I, I would say Pando and Dark Shines. If anything, if anything I mean, it is, a, is a strike to the reputation, though, right? Like, yeah, you know, it's it's going to it's going to take a long time for the initiative to to live down this narrative if their enemies feel like. Well, I mean, you know, it. <laughs> You know, uh, the way I kind of see it is like, if people kind of feel like, you know, uh, the initiative is done for, then, um, you know, they'll, they may find that they'll be on the wrong end of, well, a, uh, of a fleet that will decimate them. It's, so. it's not CO2, okay? Uh, where exactly. It was one person who was the linchpin, and without him, a lot fell apart. Um, but you're talking about uh, Brisk is a high profile player, but. Um, FCing uh, Pando is, uh, you know, like been credited with a lot of the doctrines coming out of the initiative. He's also um, uh, the guy that basically helped uh, bring the uh, military to take down HK. I mean, he's a significant player. He's uh, uh, shine basically the other one who is also dark shines, that. right? Right? Yeah. Who's yeah? So both these guys are like I think I think really important to. The game in general and and initiative who's who's basically a, a, a you know a great alliance uh, these days pando was our 
most influential player last for him to be gone a year it, it seems like it's not a big deal but it's it's kind of a big deal i so that this is going to get so messy it's so big Oh, it, it clearly it's going to get messy because people are jumping to conclusions, and you know, that there will yeah. there will clearly be people on you know the the side you know the other side of the political kind of like the EU political sphere who will use this uh, and you know as propaganda, as they are in the, in the chat, and that's completely fine. And that's completely above board. Like we expect that, you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the tapestry of Eve. This is why I think somebody is going to claim credit for this. Somebody is going to. They won't be able to hold. They'll, I, they'll want the credit for this. I think that getting more information about the situation is actually even more important than just whether or not it uh, proves what Brisk did or didn't do. And the reason why is because of how many high-profile actions that the init has done this year it would become way too easy to call into question because all we know is that some sort of insider information was used for some sort of situation. And I already see people like trying to declare that like even the HK operation was part of that. So it would suggest to me that for the good of like moving forward as a game, it would be nice to know what exactly was the accusation. Like even with the last one, uh, was it Noob Man? I think it was that you know mm -hmm. he was. We we know for a fact that what he gave out was capital the capital rebalance information ahead of time. So it'd be useful to know what it is that was the breach, at least on the broadest terms, just so that we know what it is and isn't. I don't know if we'll get that, um, but again, if you look at Noobman, Noobman was pretty much done. Uh, the term was pretty much over. It kind of is over in this situation as well. The brisk was definitely not done with the game. Um, and you although... Right? Noobman yeah. was very much a, a thing out of spite from what was... Yeah. He was, was mad at... To sort of gather. He was mad about the direction of the game. He disagreed with it. And, you know, from him. Yeah. Uh, he, so he was ready to go. Uh, yeah, he was... So from what I from what I remember or hear of uh, you know how new band kind of exited like he was going anyway because of real life reasons so he just decided that he wanted to do a, you know do it in a big kind of way that made a statement the, the the high level of the corp theft on the way out basically yeah okay um, there are questions uh, Sarah are you from Moose Army I guess I am, yes. You are, right? Okay. Somebody asked in, I don't know why, somebody asked in the uh, chat there. I, I fear that people confuse you with Sarah Bazaraf, but I, I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll just wrap it up because there's not much else to go on. Um, you know, hang out in Targeting Stations Discord, uh, public channel kind of stuff. We'll definitely take up um, the search for more information and more meaning out of momentous uh event i don't know it's got a lot of dominoes to it that uh, that are uh, of consequence okay um carneros do you have anything else i'll give you one uh, opportunity you're kind to ask um, I have seen a couple people suggest that uh, it's worth doing a broader investigation that doesn't involve these three individuals to see if um, if there might have been, uh, but, you know, just, uh, no, I don't have any further comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one thing that um, Kilby gave, gave us a statement before we actually got up and on air that is recorded, but it's not. Oh, I'm back. Oh, do you want to say what your statement was earlier? Oh, I can for sure. I said that uh, these kind of incidents usually are very bad for us because they sort of um, they hurt the relationship between CCP and the CSM. There is a there is a group of CCP devs um, that uh, do not necessarily like the idea of the CSM, and they uh, you know because of the leaks and the stuff that's been happening in the past, they usually are very careful of what they share and that sometimes leads to, leads to issues because they don't share anything at all and uh and we've we've tried really hard to sort of build up that relationship make sure that you know we we we, we make you know we tell them hey you guys you guys can trust us 
Wait, hello? Yeah, we can no. hear you, Killer. Yeah. But I'm down on some weird graveyard channel. What the fuck? That was weird. Sorry. Um, I uh, So, yeah, basically, we've, we've been working very hard on trying to rebuild that relationship. And obviously, an incident like that sort of reverts that progress uh, probably by quite a bit. So that's why I think it's very unfortunate. So, uh, Killa, were you aware of this situation prior to this morning? I can't comment on that. Yeah, I don't know if he should answer that uh, or anything like that. Yeah, a loaded question. It would be nice if we could get a statement out of the CSM once all this sort of levels out so we can sort of not, not get the full details, but just get an update as to where what and why just so we could because there's going to be a lot of shit stirring and a lot of um disinformation going around there in the next few days so having something just to go this is what was happened it was around this sort of topic that he leaked this about you know it doesn't need to be specific but it was around this sort of topic that he leaked to certain members of his alliance and certain members of the csm you know raised it up to ccp that they're aware of it you know if we can just get just a little little bit of concrete yes. information it will really shut down a lot of this, this information so, going forward so the judge has already started drafting a uh a um sort of a statement from the csm but obviously we're going to have to be very careful in that we're going to run it by ccp first see if uh, the statement is fine but we will probably release a statement as a csm uh within this week hopefully thank you very much i think that will uh that will calm down a lot of the uh, the speculation going forward. All right. Happy uh, Monday, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> One last thing. We have Bob Munn in here who's returned to the game recently. How are you doing, Bob Munn? Oh, hello. Hey, yeah, I, you I guys are way too much fun to party with the Eve today. So. Yeah. So you're you're coming out of Amsterdam. Uh, is that when you got fired up again? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, like at the party, a bunch of people said, "Hey, you're welcome to join my alliance." And I figured, well, <laughs> let's uh, log in and shoot some ships again. Uh, I brought you up because you were involved in a situation that was similar to this, weren't you? But it wasn't you that was leaking; it was uh, CCP. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happened once. I guess it was around Amsterdam as well, actually. Yeah, Amsterdam around capital changes. Yeah. I mean, with the stuff, like, it's very hard to, uh, like, people won't, won't get the information that they're craving. Uh, I hope that Beer gets the information that he, uh, if he gets any. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, as the judge said in his channel as well, if CCP has the evidence to uh, do this, then, I mean, I believe that uh, it's completely in their longstanding uh, policy to uh, do what they do. And, yeah. Yeah, and they usually don't make mistakes. I've seen many mistakes. I've seen some reversals, but I've never seen like out and out mistakes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. All right. Thanks very much, everyone. Uh, we'll wrap it up here and we will see you tomorrow and then uh, 